Uh, hello, Mimi. I'm David, and this is the VW. And I'm just going to walk you around and tell you about it. I've got my friend Petro doing the video. Hello. Um, so you can see it has Idaho plates. And I have not cleaned it since I've had it for two months. And it was not very clean when I bought it. So just take note that it should clean up very well. Um, I, before we go inside, um, I know that this was replaced, this top luggage rack carrier. He told me that, and it does look brand new. It looks uh, redone. This comes with a um, uh, kayak carrier and the Thule luggage uh, compartment thing. Frankly, I would take them off, although they do have the heavier struts inside to make it work. Um, I just, I'd be nervous about having that much weight up there myself, but um, okay. So inside, um, uh, the seats are a little dirty, but again, they haven't been cleaned. So I'm guessing they're going to clean right up. There's a little bit of wear on the driver's seat here and here. All the other seats, there's no wear whatsoever. There's a break right here on the, um, uh, speaker cover. Um, again, it's dirty, but it's fine. There's no cracks or anything on the dashboard. The windshield is not cracked. Um, there's there, you can see the passenger seat over there. Um, okay. Um, the, I think 98 and newer have the dual vents for the refrigerator. It's one way you can tell the older, uh, nineties Eurovan versus the newer nineties Eurovan. This is in fact the newer nineties Eurovan. That's an operable window right there. Um, this is the gas and, um, everything is functional inside. The stove is functional. The, the refrigerator, you know, I can hear it firing on gas, but it's not holding the light. Um, and I haven't done any work to try to figure it out. So I know the gas functions, the heater, the space heater in the vehicle works really well. There is a dent here from somebody uh, jacking it up in the wrong space, I believe. What's the, David, what is the... Uh, the... Oh, that's the sewer uh, outlet for um, the gray water. And then this is the heater uh, in and out. And the heater works really well. I've used it multiple times camping. And this is the AC plug, uh, which I've used. Um, I don't know how good the camper battery is. Um, I've just always plugged in when I'm camping and using the heater. Oh, um, the VW emblem is off and I have it uh, in a bag with some other parts in the kitchen. Um, storage compartments, I know, you know, I've noticed this in several of the Eurovans where the gray fades to a yellowish, um, some of the panels. So you'll see it here, you'll see it here. I'm of the belief that this started gray and somehow pigmented out. Um, there's your water fill compartment right here. Uh, there's your outdoor shower right here. Two compartments, there's your electrical compartment down here. Um, uh, storage compartment under here, you got your bed here, and I'm going to show you how the bed, um, functions. Come around the side. The side door works well. Um, you've got to, you know, you've got to do it the right deal in order to get it to close. It's like just the gentlest, otherwise it'll hang. Well, no, it's not hanging at all right now. I've had it where I don't push it hard enough and it gently hangs open back here. Um, here's Frida the dog. Go ahead, Frida. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so now I've got the bed down. Um, there's your fridge. And here is your Level indicator showing fresh water, LP gas, battery condition shows really good, and your holding tank. There's your DC. Um, like I said, the fridge works really well on AC. It's like ice cold. 
doesn't work on DC as far as I can tell. And the gas, I can hear it firing, but I can't hear it holding uh, to stay on. Um, you've got D you've got AC outlets. There's two of them. I've used them to charge my computer. Um, I'm going to do the bed right now and I'm just going to, I'll pull the sheet off to show you. This is like brand new. Um, you can see the condition of this. It's like un, untouched, really. Um, before I slide that back, we'll go back and look in the battery compartment. Right here. Um, so this is your cabin battery. It looks kind of old. Um, my experience is you put a glass mat battery in there. There's a, um, a hose in here for the um the dump of the gray water there's a jack you know the original jack for the vehicle in here um, and the battery is vented out to the side um, fire extinguisher okay i'm going to do the bed so there's that uh, the seat's a little soiled but again it hasn't been cleaned in forever my guess is it's gonna clean right up. But other than that, it's in relatively good shape. Um, this thing, uh, it does the fold. And then this thing for the return. So there you go. There are seat belts, three point seat belts on either side there. The clips are dropped down into the seat base right now. That's where your heater comes out. Um, you've got camp cabinets. Um, this is busted. I know they're replaceable at Go Westy. The lock is missing here. I have it in a bag in the kitchen. Um, that so, like, he was really good about keeping any missing parts. This cup holder is broken. I think they break all the time. Um, so this is a drawer right here. That's what that is. And then here's another cabinet and mirror and another cabinet. Um, let's see, I'm gonna open the top before I do anything else. So um, one thing is, is this vent is sealed shut and uh, I think it's common for them to break and Go Westy has the super quality replacements for them. They're like 180 bucks or something. So you know, this off. One of the reasons I don't like those things on top is they make the top extremely heavy. Uh, um, but I'm kind of old. Once you get it up, it's fine. Again, I would remove them. These struts have definitely been replaced because they're holding all that weight, no problem. Um, let's see. There's some lights in here. Um, all the lights work. There's also some cool lights back here, reading lights for this bed um, and reading lights for this chair. That's that. Um, so I have the fold out for this and the mattress and it's barely used. Um, they are in my garage right now. I'm probably not even gonna go get them to show them to you, but they're here. They're exactly what they're supposed to be for the full bed. Um, this tent is, uh, relatively new. I don't know how old, but it's not worn at all. There's a little bit of dirt from where it folds down near the latches, but other than that, it's brand new. And all this, all the, there's a little rip in the screen right here for whatever reason, but, um, all the other screens are good. And let's see, I'll open all these and I'll show you. And they all tie off properly and the ties are all new and functioning. That's that. And here's one right here. Um, okay, so then we've got the cooktop. And 
these struts need to be replaced. If I let go, it'll just drop hard. But I think the reason they're not replaced is there's a backup strategy for that whole thing. And it's you fold this out and you clip this right here. Voila, that saves the whole thing. Um, let's see. I don't need to, no, I don't even need to turn the pump on. There you go, you got water. Amazing, the, the pump switch is actually built into the faucet, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's that. And then, let's see, we have a drawer somewhere here, right? Um, let's see what we got here. Stove. Stove. Um, works pretty good. Nice and clean. Um, so that's that. Uh, you know, I did... Oh, I got some stuff in here. Um, I put a thermometer, a Bluetooth thermometer in here to track the temperature to try to understand how the fridge was working and not working. Um, my experience, you can get it fixed. This is the better one to repair. Um, I'd go with the 12 volt strategy if I was doing it um, and put the cabinet, the nice replacement cabinet in there. Um, that's that. I've got these pieces of paper here to keep this from jiggling when it drives. Um, there's supposed to be just a little rubber grommet right there and right there, a, just a tiny little piece of rubber. And I just don't have, I'm living in a new house with none of my supplies. So I don't have something to put in there. So the cardboard is there just to keep it from jiggling when it drives. Um, and let's see, let's go start it. Oh, oh, I want to do the heater. There's an on switch and then you turn it all the way up. It should kick on, although I'm 100% on battery right now. I'm still thinking it'll kick on. There it goes. So you can hear it. It does have a little high pitch in the fan right now, but it goes away the minute it starts. So I don't know what that is. It could be that the fan box needs to be cleaned out. Could be that rotating fan needs to be replaced. Um, but you can hear the heater kicking on now. Like I just heard the propane kicking on and um, and it seems pretty efficient. It's not using a ton of propane. I've used it a bunch in the last few days. Um, like it shows my propane is still full. Uh, if that's accurate, I don't know that it is. So anyway, that heater will quiet down in a second. I'll just leave it on. Um, let's see, anything else I need? Oh, both the seats turn around, no problem. I'm not gonna do that right now. You can hear the heater quieted down now. It's somehow it's only on the startup that it like makes a high pitch noise. Um, okay, so we'll put this up here and let's go start it up. Maybe you could just film from right here. Go uh, inside. Sure. All right. And maybe maybe break it and start another one. 